Hope you will the power here to review the Camera Revice DX2 Side Driver. So this is the, our second driver for our secondary rider Camarader Live, along with the driver that's also belonging to Camarader Evil, who debuted a month prior to the release of this toy. So obviously, um, here we have the two riders represented on both sides. Obviously Live being more prominent, both modes of the two-side driver. And then it comes with the Bat Vice stamp. So the top showing both riders. The left showing Kamen Rider Evil, Bat Genome. And the right showing, or technically the left, showing Kamen Rider Live, Bat Genome. And the back just showing everything you can do with it. So this is like surprisingly one of the largest boxes we've gotten for a retail belt. Uh, just because of how big the actual thing is and it's also surprisingly a square so neat so here we have all of the contents out of the two side driver um we get the bat buy stamp itself the uh main base of it because this is technically i don't think this itself has a name because i think because obviously when it's not within the actual two side driver this actually has two different names because of its modes. So let's just, and obviously the traditional non-DX um, belt straps. So let's take a look at the actual two-side driver, or I guess like the buckle portion of the two-side driver. Yeah, it's a buckle. <laughs> but honestly, I really like the shape of this buckle. Like just the main base of it as a whole. I really do like this shape. And obviously we have the stamp pad right here I don't know the terms um, here's uh, the writer symbol for evil and live obviously to you know going on the split personality kind of thing or I don't really know but like you know just they're both the same <laughs> or they both share one which is pretty neat and this is just fun of pressing down it's at an angle then obviously, as you can see from here, there's a peg that pops out. Here are the traditional belt straps we've come to know since zero one. So, again, this is literally the same, just cast in a green, a teal green from the Revice driver. So, again, simply slide this in like so this this is obviously simple to do because oh gosh this is a flat piece of plastic it's not like the uh jock and caliber buckle or no that was called the jock and caliber driver wasn't it <laughs> essentially it's just not like the buckles from saber where those ones were kind of obnoxious to put together this one is like pretty easy. So here's the actual two side driver. And then obviously when we slot it in, this is how the actual thing will be and such. So, you know, I, I really like this look overall. Like I really do like how this all comes together and such. Then obviously, um, press this button to flip the main, I guess, two side driver portion and such. I only did that because of, I have to still show things this can do. So, I guess, like, this is technically the two side driver. I don't know, but, um, as you can see pull tab this is the release button for the uh vice stamps oh uh, surprisingly the speakers up here this is the light sensor for the vice stamps and again this is the button to change modes 
from the Evil Blade to the Live Gun. You got the trigger, technically accurately. Uh, Daiji has his pinky down here, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> so then you don't have to force your entire hand on there. And obviously to be the Live uh, or the Evil Blade, you simply push that forward as this swings through. So again, the, as you can see from the Evil Blade, uh, it's mostly green with green translucent plastic and then purple right there. And then when we close this up and flip it, as you can see now the majority of that green is not present as now it's been replaced with white and gold and you get this nice design and also the gun metal actually carries over to the main base. So I just really like the design ideology behind this weapon. It's I really like it overall. <laughs> um, pulling the pull tab, when we press, the, actually don't press the trigger, switch it first of all. To the Evil Blade, we get one singular slash. That's it. And then switching it to the live gun. It will announce itself, and then you get one singular blasting sound. Yeah. So here's a look at the bat vice stamp. As you can see from here, it's the traditional vice stamp, but now um, instead of being, oh, well, now we actually get another unique, uh, uniquely signified vice stamp, as this one is now a white with green great or green green uh, green marbling, which I swear though. The vice stamps that don't have to be the blue marbling are like the best ones because look how vi vibrant this marbling is. Like this is, I really like this marbling. The marbling on this one and this one, as you can tell, are way more prominent than like the revice ones, which is kind of sad. <laughs> but um, as you can see from... For the most part, before we get to that, here's the uh, QR code for Gomberizing. I again, power boost. You don't get this. Doesn't allow you to choose between the two. Um, here's the stamp or the magnet. Then, like you see the little green marbling. Like I like it so much. And then here's the front again. Just like Terra, we got a uh, clear black. And again, Marlin in the back. Oh my gosh. And again, like this just, and like we got the white pearlescent paint back from Mammoth. Like this is amazing. This is the only one that like, I clearly forget that they're supposed to be the rider behind it because obviously this takes, this obviously just takes this to this, but like, honestly, it's so undis, dis, dis Distring, dis, distinctable? What's the word? Distinguishable? <laughs> like, I can't even make it out at all. I can see the two crossing, but like, you know what? Uh, whatever. So let's get the sounds. So obviously a white LED, and obviously it's the same voice. Obviously, it's just a traditional vice stamp, so let's get the two side driver together. So, I don't like the fact I have to zoom in all the way out for this, but I have to. Um, I'm just going to keep the belt on for this. When, uh, the demo, I have it out. So, obviously, you just simply slide the two side or the live gun or the evil blade in like here. Through this simple track, like so. So now, actually, maybe I don't. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to zoom out. So yeah, so here's the evil. Nope. Here's the two side driver equipped with the live gun, and then obviously, technically, its main mode is with the evil blade in standby. 
mode and such, which where this will actually uh, balance itself out and such. So um, I'm actually going to take this off because it's not going to be easy uh, doing the stamping. <laughs> so as you can see from here, the two side driver will just simply lean like so as I struggle putting this together. So, <laughs> sorry about that. So obviously this is the, obviously the main like portion of the two side driver. IG grabs it from like this for some reason, plops it on and such. Yeah. So let's zoom out and start the transformation process. First of all, let's switch it to the live gun <laughs> for equality. So obviously, to transform into evil, simply activate the vice stamp. And stamp the stamp pad from here. Obviously, in the live gun, it's a lot more difficult because of the fact that you don't, there's no opening. <laughs> so, and you have to really press hard in order for it to confirm. So once you get that, you're gonna slot the vice stamp in like so, and then quickly switch this to the evil blade. So there you get the standby. Now pull out the evil blade out of the two side driver to have the blade come out and press the trigger. And there we have the transformation of Counter Evil. I really like it. And obviously because this is still a weapon, uh, the Vice Stamp actually announces the like name of itself within the transformation, which I could have gone without, but I understand they just, like, I don't know, it's just not really consistent with the, all the other devices, which is why I kind of find it bothersome, but oh well. The the attack sounds are still the same. However, uh, now if you press the button of the vice stamp, we are now in the finisher phase. So yeah, <laughs> obviously it just acts like the Onan Buster 50. So I don't really mind that. And then sliding this back in like so. And then folding this back in. If you actually do a finisher within the two side driver, first of all, you can't confirm once you have a vice stamp. But if you do that again. No difference. Again, remove the vice stamp. Simply press this button and pull out the vice stamp like so. So now to transform into Cover Alive, you want to keep this in the evil blade mode. Obviously activate the vice stamp. Confirm. And then slot it in. As you can actually, wow, I actually can capture that now. You can see the flashing red light. <laughs> As you're going to hear, a new rendition of the transformation standby. There we get the transformation of Kamara alive. Again, I really do like how they make the two writers have distinctively different uh, sounds and you know, distinctively different musically and such. Obviously the gun sounds are still the same. And then again, same finisher process. So 
so yeah, instead of darkness finish, it's justice finish. And the thing, obviously, you can just like typically these toys typically do, you can change modes on the fly. And then cancel that. So, yeah. So, there's obviously another thing you can do with this is obviously vice stamp compatibility. And that is, I think, I think there's still genome, genome, genome changes. Um, so, obviously... The main vice name that Daichi has is Jackal. Obviously, keep in mind my Jackal, as of now, its audio is dead. So, all the audio coming from this is from post. And obviously, this is just to show that you don't need to confirm the two-side driver. Like, the moment you insert a vice stamp, it will automatically register it. So yeah, uh, we get a new jingle, which is pretty neat, and then obviously the name of the vice stamp at the end. So I think this is like a lot better way to incorporate the name of the vice stamp rather than the actual transformation of Evil and Live. And the finisher process is the same. Obviously, it's the same. So, let's change into the most underappreciated live form. So, there's that. Like, I'll even, like, just show you. Um, so, because obviously this is compatible with all Vice stamps that can actually fit. So, um, let's pull Bata. That will show that you don't need to pull out the two-side driver. So, yeah. And then, obviously, because I guess we have to. Rex. So basically, um, obviously how, obviously, this, when this gets pressed down, this tells, this presses this small button within the two side driver to tell it to confirm. Confirmed. And then you can have like a delay. Which is pretty interesting. <laughs> but obviously, like, you know, I just think that's like a pretty neat tidbit. And obviously, uh, one issue I'll say, obviously, which I'm pretty sure is why they don't show Daichi confirming within the live gun mode. Basically, the issue is that because of how small that button is, if you like... Like, it's typically, like, 
like basically you have to really press in <laughs> for it and also for the most part you're gonna accidentally like set this thing out <laughs> which is kind of annoying so it's possible but it's just like again you don't have as much space as you do when like when you're in the evil blade mode but anyways let's show this thing and everything we have we need to somehow hit that wall before like by the end of quarter one if we don't i don't know what to do obviously i should probably say obviously this is compatible with the revice driver i don't know what happened there. So yeah, this is our first fly stamp with the white LED, which is pretty neat. Um, you know, we already have enough green, so white makes sense. Um, I actually do like the simplicity of this one. Obviously, it's not mirroring each other, but it's just like, you know, I like it. Um, the jingle, I do like it, but I I kind of wish it was like a revised driver version of the, like, of the two transmission jingles from Evil and Live, because it... Like, I understand, like, I guess this is essentially what the jingles would have been if they weren't, if they weren't based off of other writers, which, kind of boring, I guess. But, like, you know, I understand, like, for the most part, they're trying to make it so, like, the common writer, like, name is only contained within the, like, the Vice Stamp's main device and such. But, you know. <laughs> So I think the light pattern here is actually normal now. So yeah, um, I forgot to say this, but. Technically, this would change Revine Vice into Bat Genome, but there's no such thing as a Bat Genome, and there's no such thing as Revice Bat. We would do gun mode in the, for the review. Excuse me, putting Jack all away. <laughs> Obviously, the hammer. On the phone. Yep, so Bat is treated like Bata where this thing doesn't recognize it technically. <laughs> that's again that's basically what that is. But yeah, um overall, um this is probably the one of the first things I actually have something to say within this uh, round of reviews, but, um, yeah, my thoughts over on the two side drivers that, like, I didn't really show much of, but I really do like this driver, I, again, like, I really like the design, I like the sounds, it's finally neat that we get another secondary green rider, it's been since, has it really been since Deno? No, uh, but like overall, I this driver is just a lot of fun, 
in my opinion. Like, just confirming is just fun. <laughs> the confirm process is fun. Like, the transformation, just transforming is really fun. I really like the gimmick of just switching in between, like, switching in between modes. It's really satisfying and, like, just point out the evil blade or, like, temperature woohoo but um basically just like playing around with this one is just honestly a lot of fun for me i might be well, like honestly design wise with like the writer of evil and live i'm like they're fine <laughs> like i'm not like too like flabbergasted or whatever but like I genuinely do like this device <laughs> and such. It's just really fun. And I really like just what the... I know what the other device stands. It technically doesn't do much. Because obviously it's the transformation. Insert name of vice stamp. Honestly though. I don't mind it. Because I like the sounds that come out of this. It's just really fun to just sit there. And just mess around with this one. Like, I generally have more fun playing with this than the Revice Driver. Because the Revice Driver is kind of tedious. Because I never mentioned this. Because I suck. But basically, whenever you do this way too hard or whatever. Obviously, you end up, like, messing. You end up messing the screen. And, like, you, end, you have to, like, turn it. And basically ruin the mechanism a lot more. And obviously, just the magnet doodle wears out. And such. <laughs> so like if you want like a more basic driver out of revice i highly recommend this one it's just really fun overall and like the thing is that obviously with the deal with this one's that you get two riders out of it like out of one vice stamp i would have preferred if it was two different vice stamps but whatever <laughs> like that's kind of my only nitpick but like you get two riders out of this, you know, to justify the two modes, which I'm surprised they haven't done much on. They might have, but, like, it's a cool way of you to make, you know, forcing in two modes, two different riders. And because for the most time, they try to justify it as two different forms, but this time I like how it's just two distinctive riders. Well, quote unquote distinctive. But, like, I just love this driver. This is like this is just one of my favorite toys out of the line. Genuinely. <laughs> like, go after it. I think you can get this thing in Mondorake for like $45 or so. Which I would say that's like a worthwhile price. Because the thing is that you're this is basically a weapon for the most part. The driver part is kind of like, you know. Just a bonus for the most part. So essentially, like, the extra $15, because, like, you know, like, if this was just a weapon, it would have been 30 And the, But the extra 15 is, like, the vice stamp. And obviously the driver, I think, well, driver parts would are, like, an extra 10 or so. But, like, you know, other than that, like, I highly do recommend this. If you want a weapon... Just get this one because it practically serves the same purpose. It just because again the vice stamps just say their names. <laughs> so yeah, that'll have to do this review. Uh, this is Power and I'll leave you people. This is such a good toy. <laughs> it has its flaws. By I'll I'll mention that in other reviews like what I've been doing with the. Revised <laughs>